the public kind of does it does this it's like when is enough enough um, I think he's done everything anyone could have asked for in someone who has really done an injustice to these young women he's made you know he's taken a private conversation that he he confessed he was trying to work and reconcile with his wife that's a great step it didn't work out then when this came out so unfortunate for him but he made a public apology he learned from a bad situation and confessing you know trying to apologize to this one girl he applied that lesson to the other two he said I'm not gonna I'm not gonna approach them I'm gonna you know try to be respectful of them mm -hmm. realize it was a long time in the past gosh this guy's done everything we could have wished for and I think it's probably good to recognize when we see a man in the media who say this guy probably handled this the right way he's continuing to be in therapy mm -hmm. let's try to you know let's try to, to support that and say that was a good job mm -hmm. bad what you did but you handled it in a way that gosh we can right. be can you imagine if he, you did it. if he didn't get treatment dr. Drew there would have been more victims there so good for him right. for taking accountability more responsibility victims, worse, right. worse owning victimization. up yes what about the what what Vanessa was saying in the last and Andy to some extent of Andy was Andy was doing a bit Andy of, a bit of trashing. psychotic yeah a bit of trashing there but but that there has to be some sort of by by amends they see some sort of uh, punishment does he need to be punished in order mm, to atone for what he did? Uh, or, yeah. or has the years of misery been enough? I don't know. I think, I mean, it would be great if he could pay for the con you know, uh, there would pay be some consequences. May, yeah, absolutely. That would be awesome. I think that would be a great thing to do. And, and we don't know they did. We don't know what he did. He may have made some yeah. amends. And, 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 but Judy, the only thing that you can't tell when you, when you hear an amends like this, that sort of seems pretty good. I mean, it seems like sort of on paper it looks good. You really don't know if somebody is genuinely actively right. involved in the old process, do you? That's right. And because he was a little bit of vague, even though he is genuine, we don't really know what type of treatments he's been through and what types of insight has he gained and right. what types of techniques has he learned to not do this again. Right. And so for me, it's more important to protect the public, to protect potential future victims. I don't care that he's not punished. I just want to make sure that he has the skills now to be able to move forward. Erica. Yeah, that's great. That's a great point, uh, Judy. Another thing I was going to say is uh, I th what, I re what I think about him telling on himself and what he did is because w the stories that were going around were actually worse than what he actually did. In the case of Bill right. Cosby, he's not saying anything because the stories are outrageous and what he did was outrageous. Right. So he's just not saying anything. He's keeping his lips, you know, closed.